behind the title Darkly Darkly Venus Aversa. Um, Venus Aversa is a name that we've given to Lilith as um, the opposite of Venus, as a character, a dark Venus, and it implies that she's surreptitiously crawling across the world, that she's doing it in a dank and odoriferous way. Venus Aversa itself as a term was a um, uh, was something of a sexual disorientation um, I think actually sort of referred to bum sex, Victorian bum sex or something like that, so seemed quite apt. The character Lilith is um, Adam's first wife, uh, she was known as the first trespasser against God. Um, she was supposedly born of filth, which is quite um, appropriate. Um, and what we've done with this, we've, we've, we've made it into like a gothic horror story where we've involved Knights Templars and Carmelite nuns and weave this story about her finding her way back into into the world and um, it's yeah it's quite intricate so it's pretty hard to explain but it's a it's a continuous story throughout the record we recorded our new album at a place called monkey puzzle studios which is uh, quite close to where we live in suffolk a place called Woolpit, um, in a beautiful suffolk countryside it actually felt um, that we were on holiday there because it's um, very picturesque, great little local pubs, um, great little studio. They had uh, like this small lake and uh, a huge garden and we also were like animals like dogs, cats, and which was very funny sometimes. Uh, we started recording uh, the demos about a year ago um, and it I don't know, that takes about six to eight months to get everything kind of in a listenable, understandable form. Um, and we never really stopped working on that element until virtually the last day of, what is it, mastering? We've been working on the new album for quite a while actually, to be honest. Um, as in a matter of months, I reckon, when we start, I reckon a good, from start to finish, but well, we spent three, four months in the studio, you know. Uh, this time, I think uh, it was much easier for us, to be honest, because uh, this is my second album with Cradle. So uh, uh, the process actually was uh, was was very creative and uh, more relaxed for us because uh, well, it wasn't the first experience like it was for Godspeed. Uh, the artwork for the album is done by. Um a beautiful creature called Natalie Shao, and we met her through her her previous boyfriend, who was um, the singer from a band called Septic Flesh. It was very similar to some of the styles that we've used before, and uh, in his the few emails that were going backward and forward with him, he'd sent some this amazing artwork, and it was his then girlfriend. I was like, wow, sorry mate, but <laughs> you know, um, and she's you know she's done some fantastic kind of dark fairy tale like pieces in the past and um, we just thought it'd be perfect. In fact we started using her um, for a project for a, uh, an orchestral album that will surface hopefully sometime next year. I think my favourite songs from the album are probably Deceiving Eyes and Lilith and Maculate which um, sit next to each other. It's sort of the when everything's getting juicy on the record it's like the turning point um, and they're both very different songs, uh, very different for for Cradle. Um, and the I can't, I don't know the reasoning behind why I like them because all the songs are good, but they've just got lots of different ingredients to them. My favourite song. I, th I think it's quite hard to choose a favourite song song from this album because they have work, worked so hard on all of them. But um, I, I do like the the first track on the album which at the moment still doesn't have a title, but whatever it is, it's the first track on the <laughs> album. Um, I really like um, the Church of the Sacred Heart, which is just, was a lot of fun playing that in, in the rehearsals leading up to the album. 
there's a Spawn of Love and War, which I think is, is an awesome, awesome track. My favorite song uh, from the new album, well, all of them. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly. I mean, I do mean all of them, definitely. So, I just love the new album. We chose to release this album through, uh, well, Abracadabra has been an imprint that we've been using um, actually since the last time we were on Snapper and Peacefield were, uh, I, I guess, a subsidiary. Anyway, um, we want to be with someone where there's, there's more interaction between the people and at the label and the band and we have more say in stuff and we get to work with people that actually have real passion about the music we're doing and the genre pool.